New at 11, a local DPW worker is out of a job after police took him into custody. Police say they detained the man after they found him removing tools from a Warwick City yard. Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik is live from Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom with what she's learned. Well, yes, that investigation did focus on the Warwick DPW here and a city employee. And as you said, he finds himself tonight without a job. Right now, an investigation is underway into the actions of former Warwick DPW worker Kenneth Naylor. He has been terminated from his job after being detained by police. Eyewitness News did obtain a copy of that police report, including these pictures of the tools and equipment that police say Naylor had in his truck and had removed from the DPW yard. A chainsaw, a filled five-gallon gas can, a toolbox filled with tools, even cast iron fire extinguisher fittings, among other things. According to the police report, Naylor told the officer that he was working on cleaning up his yard and that he would use those tools and the gas for completing the yard work at his in a neighbor's house because he was planning on calling in sick. It also says Naylor told him the cast iron piping would be used to secure his sinking deck and spa. Police say Naylor told them that this was normal procedure for him to borrow those items from the city yard after consulting with the supervisor. But on this date, according to that report, Naylor said he did not get the authorization. The police chief tells us he did want to file charges against Naylor, but that no charges have been filed because the chief says he couldn't get a statement from the DPW director saying that Naylor did anything wrong. But the case is not over. In a statement, the mayor's office tells us, quote, The incident was reviewed by Warwick PD and has been forwarded to the Kent County Attorney General's office for further review. Based on the city's own internal review of the incident, additional information has come to light and it was determined that termination of the employee was appropriate. The mayor's office also tells us the practice of allowing employees to borrow small tools has been rescinded immediately. And I did contact Naylor at his West Warwick home tonight by phone. He tells me all of this has been an emotional roller coaster, and he says at this point he has no other comment. Reporting live tonight with the West Bay Mobile News from Warwick, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.